everyone He's just a lousy, no good boozer Another welfare loser Alas, his wife is just a big fat whore And his son is rotten to the core How oh, why do they all stay together On Kevin's bed? Grab your mom's light, boy, and help me get her in the car. We, we gotta get the fuck out of here now. Or a, a, a family vacation. Now! Kevin wasn't sure what was going on. But since there was nothing good on TV, he figured what the hell. Sit! Get in, fuck, we gotta go! Since Kevin was the kind of kid who was always looking for an angle, he couldn't help but notice that this seemed like a perfect opportunity to fuck with the old man and screw him out of some cash. So he told Percy that just because he was in a hurry didn't mean everyone else was. And if it was so damn blessed important to get a move on, then he might just see his way to stepping things up a little for 20 bucks. Your call, broken head, I'm gone. Enjoy the beating. Then again thought Kevin, it was a nice night for a ride. What do you think, boss? He ain't kind of gone far. Could be headed anywhere. You should cut our losses. Or we'll do what I say we'll do and you'll go along happy like. Yeah, yeah, sure. I didn't mean nothing. Whatever you say, boss, I I I'm with you. We both are. But let's get the hell out of here and regroup. Law will be here soon. We'll find them. Come hell or high water. Give me a smoke, boy. Oh my god! Body snatchers have wrapped my head in a cocoon of rotten flesh! I knew this day would come! Kevin told the old man to shut his fat rotten tooth hole and calm down and take the pantyhose off his head. Alright, been on so long I kinda got used to it. Holy fuck, what clarity of vision! I ain't nearly as drunk as I should be. What in the name of hell is going on? We've run him from some men that are gonna kill all of us if they catch us. They know where we live, so we had to leave everything behind. We can never go back. All right, you wake me up when we get to a gas station. I'm almost out of smokes. <laughs> That's the future, boys. Young, good-looking, and jack full of steroids and Viagra. That guy's got a rod on 24-7. Hell, I work with guys like that. I save enough on fluffers to shoot six more films. But where's the art? That's right. Our films ain't just about the fucking. We shoot quality pictures with solid scripts. Scripts? Hell, half my talent can't even read. That's because you and your equally shoddy ilk have besmirched and cheapened what was once an honorable industry. Can't stop progress and I wouldn't wanna. Now is that reason for you being here other than wasting my time? We have one picture left in our contract and we expect to make that picture. Look, if you're gonna make a big stink out of this, go make your own blessed picture. We want complete creative control and a decent budget. Or, how about you borrow my home video camera, agree to work for scale, have it on my desk in a week, and get the fuck out of my office! Those terms are acceptable. So where the fuck is we, anyway? Mert's Corners. It's like a, a fucking what you call it, a, a village or some shit? Nah, village is down the road some, left on the first dirt road. Don't nobody live there no more, though. Got so things just dried up and everyone moved. 
just an old ghost town now. Shut the fuck up! God, you boring. Look, mister, I just want to say I'm sorry for how me and my family treated you just now. We've been on the road for a while and are some tired. Well, I guess we all been there. Oh, hey, now that I think of it, could you give the oil a quick check? Sure thing. You want the honor, boy, or should I? You see that? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, like you fucking know. You'd be surprised with what I know. I know I am. Where the fuck we going anyways? There's a deserted town around here someplace. Sounds like the perfect place to lay low for a while till the heat blows over. What the fuck did you do anyway? I don't know. Hit a guy, stole some stuff, might have killed his bitch. And I got caught having sex in the tub. You was banging another woman? No, I was alone, thank you very much. So you broke into some guy's place, killed his fish, and got caught masturbating. Oh, well, sure, it sounds stupid when you say it like that, but you had to be there. So, uh, anyway, Marty, uh, I was kind of wondering, uh... You greasy cocksucker! Well, let me guess, you're a little fucking short! Don't even fucking think about asking for a tab! Cash only! All right, this is what you get! Uh, actually, I was just wondering if you knew uh, what time it was. What am I, a fucking clock? Is that what you think? I think Marty's a clock! I ain't a fucking clock! This is what I think of clock! Hey, Means, I'll tolerate a man doing a lot of things in my house, but I draw the line at that! I'd love to get my hands on the bastard. I can't believe he stole your best car, too. Talk about rubbing salt in the wounds. Car's insured, though, right? Yeah, but all that bullshit filing claims and cr Hang on. God bless technology. Son of a bitch! Guy only left me 10%! What's the bug, Charlie? <laughs> All right, baby. I'll see you then. She's in, man. I tell you what, our cast is fucking killer. Now all I have to do is finish the script. You still working on that thing? It's been three hours. How long does it take to write a damn script? I know it's taking longer than usual, but I want to make sure it's perfect. Them words don't gotta be perfect as long as it's got you and me doing our tang with the ladies. I hear that. What type of film is it anyways? It's a western. I ain't fucking no horse. This is your big hideout plan? It's perfect. Who the fuck is ever gonna find us here? Kevin said, probably just the vultures after they all fucking died from starvation, since neither of his fat fuck parents had thought to bring food, and it sure as hell didn't look like anything was open for business. I'll tell you what was open for business. Your mother's legs in high school. <laughs> Kevin said right in the throat. Sweet. I'm gonna find a place to crash. You do whatever you feel like, boy, as long as it ain't near me. I call dibs for living in the tavern. It's always been my dream. I get voice drink of any old booze we find. Kevin said, I call second, I call second. Yeah? Oh, excellent work. Where? Morgan's goats, where the f- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh-huh. I got it. Hey, I owe you on that one. Now what? Hey, let's see. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll find us a car, take a little drive to Morgan's Gulch. 
Who then we kill that fat fucker Percy Spencer? What about his wife, who is also fat, and that funny looking kid? No witnesses. Kill them all! Hey, fellas, uh, nice night, huh? <laughs> I'm just minding my own business. Yeah, well, fuck off and go mind it someplace else. Okie dokie. Top yup, cowboy. Uh, geez, yeah, yeah, maybe a quick one, uh, but then I gotta go. You want me to just add my tip to your tab, or is you in a gambling mood? Uh, whatever, yeah, 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 the money's good uh, on the tab there. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you ever hear of a place called uh, Morgan's Gulch? Hop in, ladies. You can learn your lines on the way to the set. Where the fuck did you get the money to rent a set? It was free. Free? That's motherfucking crazy talk, baby. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. We're going to make the Citizen Kane of hardcore western three-way fuck movers. Sweet, baby. Sweet. Oh, and by the way, and P.S., I ain't doing that without a rubber because I got an infection. Uh, less sweet, baby. Less sweet. Ah, oh, good call on fleeing without smokes and booze. Look, this is better than being dead. The hell it is, said Kevin. The hell it is. Hey, boy! Over here! Hey, Kevin! You! Kevin, Kevin, Kevin! Boy, howdy, it's getting closer and closer every time. Don't help none, he's got them DTs. Who don't? It don't make him no better than me. All I'm saying is that sooner or later the boy's gonna kill us. Hey, you, hey, you wanna hear a joke? A manatee walks into a bar wearing stretch pants and a tube top. Bartender says, hey, where'd you get the outfit? And the manatee says, I got it from Percy B. Spencer's wife. Cause the fatty, fat, fat, fatter grew out of it. <laughs> That's hilarious on so many levels, and I don't even know what a manatee is. You're a fucking idiot. These here is dire straits, boy. We've got no booze, no cough syrup, nothing. Not to mention you down your last pack of smokes. I see we cut our louses and get the hell out of here. It is, however, a long walk. So maybe you should go ahead and stab your daddy and uh, steal his smokes? Hey, hey Charlie, Charlie, you, you got, got smokes? smokes? No time to talk. We just gotta get out of here. Fuck that. There's men what's looking to kill us. I ain't going no place because they'll never find us here. They're on their way. I overheard them talking about it in the tow last night. They're gonna be here any minute. Hey, who was dancing last night? Uh, Miss Nude Yukon. Ooh, exotic. She got nice ones. Real ones, too. Wish I'd seen that. How the fuck did they know where we went? That car you stole's got one of them anti-theft global uh, positioning thingies. Once again, I have been foiled by science. Well, now what the hell is we gonna do? I say we get in Charlie's truck and fuck off. They're gonna come here and find the car, but we'll be long gone. Screw all of you! I ain't gonna die because of what a Spencer done! Kevin told everyone to relax, that it was only an adult film crew and some porn actresses, and they still had time to make their getaway. Porn actresses! Hi, I'm Percy Spencer. Are you guys gonna start fucking soon? This is the best day of my life. Can I be in your movie, huh? Can I, huh? There's no way I'm doing him for scale. This town is supposed to be deserted. Yeah, yeah, funny story about that. A story that involves me playing with myself. 
What an odd turn of events. Uh, but on the bright side, porn folk always got booze and drugs to help dull the spiritual and emotional pain of trying to rationalize what they do for a living, uh, benchmarked against what were likely the normal childhood aspirations of happiness and success. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's search the motherfucking van. That's a pretty sweet hat you got. I'm not wearing a hat. He wasn't talking to you. Uh, thanks. You ever think about starring in an adult film? I ain't uh, never acted one before. Yet. Do you have a penis? Yeah, that and a hat's good enough for us. What about me? I got a penis. A real good one, too. <laughs> Told you, boy. P. Dick. <laughs> Holy fuck! That would hurt if I was real. Hurry up and hot the fucking thing and let's get out of here. Kevin said, ah, nuts, and then wondered why if the guy shooting was a good enough shot to take out all the tires, then how come he missed all the people, especially his mom and dad, who were both fat? You says both of us. Now they know we're onto them. Who were all of them other people? This town was supposed to be deserted. Just them Spencers. No witnesses. Kill them all. And then, and then we'll torch the town to get rid of the evidence. Damn you, Poissy. I always knew one day you'd go too far. Oh, so this is my fault. My colleagues and I have nothing to do with this. Come on, guys. Let's roll. I ain't going out there as long as them's what's got them guns is still shooting. We need a plan. Kevin said, hey look everybody, I found guns. Thank God for convenient happenstances. Give me one of them. I'll show those fuckers not to mess around with me, or my name ain't Percival B. Spencer. Roll the camera on all of this. If we get out of this alive, it'll be great footage for our film. We still putting that fucking in later though, right? Oh, yeah. That gunfire earlier. Hey, it was an accident, eh? <laughs> we just want to talk to the Spencer family. They left uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, out the back door. In a helicopter. I'm just an innocent stranger who happens to sound exactly like this Percy guy you're talking about. You think they bought it? Kevin said no. No, I don't think they did. I ain't got time for this. Fuck it! Fill the place with lead! know something funny? This was going to be my last film. I finally saved enough money to buy that farm I always talked about. I, 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 uh, 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 you really did have a heart of gold. I'm sorry. I thought the safety was on. Honest mistake, eh? Hey, it won't happen again. Look, come on out. We just wants to talk. Talk to this, you son of a bitch. So fast, you thieving bastard! Turn around!
I'm gonna enjoy this. Hey, I'll bang you if you just kill him and let me go. Oh, like I do a hog like you. Hey, is you gonna let him talk to your wife like that? Hey, I thought that fucker said he was out of smoke. No, my penis, my beautiful penis, no! Hey, boy, stick your head out front and see if they're still around. Fine, we'll all go. But don't think for a minute I'm going to forget you letting this family down. Charlie's at. Uh, I uh, dropped something over there. Geez, we better get out of here. Knowing our luck, if the cops come, they'll try and blame this on us. I got my keys right here. I can drive us. Jeez, uh, you in hell, Spencer's. <laughs> He ain't gonna need it. Quit fucking around, boy. Asshole kid. Hey, Kevin. I'll fucking kill you. Let me in. You're getting dust on my hat. Porn for the story? Wasted time.